I went through it. Please, this is not the concentration camp. The free. I looked up over there and I said to myself, all the mattresses and everything, food. I said, if at that time I would think it's a country club. So live the best you can. It's still America, still the best country. And if you don't believe it, then leave the country. My name is David Tuck. I was born in Poland. In our town, we only had about 18 Jewish families. First, the Nazis gave us the way yellow armbands on the left arm. Then they gave us a Star of David, one in the front, one in the back. If you walked in the street on the same sidewalk, the assessment walked. If you didn't step down, they would kill you. If I had any piece of bread at night with me, Somebody if know about it, they will steal it from me. Everybody was for himself, survival. There were time at night when I used to go sleep, I said, please God, let me see the light the next day. Many times. They gave me a tattoo, a number. I still have it on my arm. If you wanted to, I show it to you. I'm skin and bone already. The Americans were bombing all the roads, the railroad. No food was coming to the camp. And I never forget, on May the 5th, there were more dead people in the camp in the barracks than living ones. When I saw the guns, I said, my God, now they're going to kill us. And he said to us, no time, the Americans are going to come down the mountain and you're gonna be free. I didn't believe it myself, I made it. I made a commitment. I never forget, never forgive what it did to me. But I don't live with hate. To someone who thinks that America runs concentration camps on the border, can you give them a message as someone who experienced a concentration camp? Grow up. You know how to spell, you know how to read, how to listen, do it. You can't compare it. Any time I hear it, it's, it's sickening. What about the term people call President Donald Trump, people call other political opponents Nazis? What do you think about that? Sickening. It's just plain sickening. I thought we smarted it. We, we support, everybody looks up to, everybody wants to come to America. I remember when I was a little boy, the first thing when I said to the American, I want to go to America. I want to get out. I want to live here. Sure, it's. Nothing is perfect in life. I came here to go to work, I had a family. I'm not complaining, nothing, but I'm free. The freedom, yeah, if you don't take advantage for freedom, don't, don't think about something else that's gonna be better. If you wanna to come to America, I did it, I waited, I came here. It's life. This politic is, it's, it's unbelievable. You don't like the president, in four years you can, Kick him out. Forget it. I, I listen to those politicians sometimes, I said, I wonder. They think that we're not even stupid, that's all. Don't worry, we're not gonna hurt nobody. So people come in here, different kind of people, people come in, there's trouble, there's all the trouble in the world. No, even the families, we don't like each other. 